and welcome back to Regrowth Amplified with me, Trionis. So, since the first episode, I have been very, very busy to make up for my dumb assery in the last episode, basically. Because uh, if you watched it, you'll notice that I did have trouble trying to even get the basics of Tinker's Construct to work for me. Uh, but I have figured it and whatnot, and so I've done a lot of work. Uh, well, this is just a, basically a stone quarry, uh, just for me to get stone from, that's all it is. Uh, but as you can see here, just the cave is up and running. I've made some dry mix so I can get a little bit of food. My quest book is hanging in here so I wouldn't forget it. Uh, and the wolves are howling again. I haven't actually seen any wolves, but I keep hearing them for some reason. Don't know. Uh, but uh, yeah, so I made the uh, all the tool stations. Basically all it was to make these was using dead wood with the uh, blank patterns. That's all you needed to do. Like I say, I felt like such a dumbass afterwards. It weren't that long after I stopped recording that. I bloody well figured it. Yes, anyway, uh, but... What I have been doing is basically making a outside small base and farm. Well, it's easier to show you than to tell you. So I've made these huge walls out of cracked sand and it's a fairly large area as you can see. Uh, so uh, yeah, so this is basically going to be where my farm is going to be. My main base will be inside one of this hill, maybe spread it out a bit more, I don't know. But this is kind of by my farm and I might put the Tinker's Constructs notary down here at some point just so it's here uh, just to get me started. But yeah, this area is basically my uh, mutations area where I can mix crops together because this has got that algae craft whatever you want to call it thingy me bob. Um, What's it called? This ag agricraft. Agricraft. There we go. I can I can say words. I can say things. Yes. Uh, but by default, unlike Magic Farm Three that I'm like I'm playing through, uh, the weeds in this are automatically disabled. So it's so much easier. I'll tell you. So much easier. So I'm really thinking about disabling weeds in Magic Farm Three. Uh, so as you can see, this is all what I've been doing. And all of this was to make cotton, which you can just see second to last on there. Uh, so to get these four here, which are carrots, crops, uh, well, wheat, uh, potatoes, and belladonna seeds from witchery, uh, you have to go around the world, it's getting dark, should be alright though. Uh, to have to go around the world oh, as much as possible. I didn't really go very far. And you have to find dead grass and you've got to hit it and hopefully you'll get a chance of getting some of the seeds as shown in uh, was it this one. Uh, you need to collect all of these which I did and I managed to get uh, the seeds here. Uh, so, no problems there, and uh, really all you need is one seed to get these, and then you can just get let them grow by themselves all the way down uh, by basically using the crops. Just in case if you don't know Agricraft, you basically do that, and then if you do that on the second one, whatever seed you plant there will spread into that one, and then so on and so on and so forth, which is what I ended up doing here. So it works quite nicely. Uh, so that's what I've been doing, and as you can see, I've been collecting a lot of stuff as well. Uh, so uh, to get seeds, uh, sorry, <laughs> to get the uh, cotton seeds here, the mutation for that is. Uh, cotton seeds, so you need to mutate uh, barley seeds and dandelion seeds together to get the cotton seeds. 
so you have to go through the process of barley seeds. What do I need for barley seeds? You need normal wheat seeds and sugarcane seeds. Okay. What do you need sugarcane seeds for? Uh, you need carrot seeds and normal seeds to give you that, but it needs to be on sand. Yeah, so it's kind of a very long process, and to get the dandelions as well, uh, you know, you need sugarcane seeds and melon seeds to get that, and you also need this garden soil, uh, which I'll come to in a minute. Uh, to get melon seeds, you need carrot seeds and pumpkin seeds to get that. To get the pumpkin seeds, you need potatoes and carrots to mutate. Yeah, it was kind of a long process, and there's only something like a 20% chance that they will actually get into it but it wasn't too bad I suppose like I said it was just lengthy but it took it was enjoyable so the garden soil like I was just saying which is this is normal dirt or farmland uh, this is garden soil this is tilled garden soil and certain things will only grow on certain things like sugar canes in this version will only grow on sand uh, so uh, to make garden soil you need these things which are compost bins and that's how you make, get the compost and you mix the compost uh, with normal dirt and uh, then it will turn into garden soil to get compost though this stuff uh, you can use near enough all of this sort of stuff and you just throw it into the compost bin and then very slowly and depending on how much you've got it will actually mixing together and as you can see it does actually work and it kind of looks like when it's working um what do you call it that uh other dirt coarse dirt or something like that like i say you can put almost anything in this and well like i say almost anything you can't put barley weed in uh, barley weed <laughs> barley uh stuff in but you can't put normal wheat in which is what i'm mainly being using because that's fairly uh decent to actually get quite a lot of this to go and from what i can tell uh, these crops do seem to grow a lot faster on this uh particular soil so uh, i can uh, start to harvest some of these things i'm still waiting for this barley to grow all the way but as long as you've got a mature one next week, I can harvest these all the way up. So yeah, my food supply in this dead world shouldn't be a problem anymore. Uh, it's just a case of trying to make them stronger, grow faster, and things like that. So uh, we will continue on with the quest book. Uh, so what I have done in the quest book, uh, I think I got up to there when I left you, so obviously I did this grasping at straws, which was just basically going around and hitting grass, uh, buckets of stuff, which was just basically make a clay bucket, uh, which is in this chest down here, so uh, yeah, nothing too exciting, I, you haven't missed the right lot to be quite honest with you, uh, earthly possessions, which was basically mining cobblestone and dirt to get stone and dirt basically so yeah uh, uh not farmville three uh which is just basically getting crop sticks wheat sugar canes and a mandrake root you did have to do some mutations to get mandrake uh but that wasn't uh mandrake mandrake seeds which is just basically balladonna seeds and potato seeds so that's really quite easy to get uh, and in this pack in case you are wondering for those that know which way uh, you do get the little guys it's gonna make a liar at it me uh, that will run around unless it's because it's night there's less chance of it doing it uh, <laughs> but the little things that run around and give you nausea they don't actually hurt you in this pack but they do give you nausea so uh, a little bit of heads up uh, right so uh, let's have a look back in the quest book so I did that uh, I've still got to claim the reward of bone meal so that's that done so the next quest is feeling seedy or mutations so we need a seed analyzer to get this book 
is what I need to do the mutations or I can try to do the mundandus and I will get quite a bit of this stuff actually so yeah I think I'll do this because it's about time I started actually trying to get some normal saplings so uh, what do I actually need to make Mun mundandus uh, mundane Sam Carts Belford Toffee, so let's just go through the witchery book. Uh, right down at the bottom. One thing about witchery, it's always down at the bottom. Uh, so let's see if we can't actually see this stuff. Uh, get all the M's. There it is. M U T. There we go. Thank you very much. So, what do we need? Uh, we need cactus. Or floral green or something on those sort of lines. And oh, we need whoosh. Whoosh. See, I cannot talk. Wood ash. Alright, so. Uh, hmm. Okay. So, maybe we can't do this one just yet. Thought we would have been able to. Uh. Mystical green petals. Well, we can't do that just yet, can we? Uh, right, well, this cactus green, this thing here. Eelgrass. This grass is found growing underwater. Its name is due to long, thin leaves that resemble eels. Uh, now, the problem with that is... When you go underwater, you don't really have much breath and you will die almost immediately. Uh, right, so. Looks like we might not be able to do this one just yet, which is a little bit surprising. Uh, extra bees, malaculture, we won't be able to do that just yet. So, hmm, how, do we, how did we get normal cactus? Slam balls into there, really. But I haven't got any Botania stuff yet, so how can I do that? Okay, uh, let's move on then. Uh, it's probably something simple again, so the seed analyzer. Let's try that. Seed A. Okay. Oh, we can do that one easy enough, I think. Alright, so I need a bucket of water to begin with. And some dirt. And then that. Is it dirt? Um it was it was a bucket of water and dirt. No it wasn't, it was crack sand. Alright, let's go and get some crack sand. Sorry, that's me being silly again. Alright, let's get some cracked sand. And that should make us that, but I need at least six of these guys, don't I? Uh, so let's just make another seven. Let me just make some seven pieces of sand, uh, and I'll be uh, back with you as soon as I've done that. Right, okay, so that's the last bit of sand. This is a bit of a slow process, so I didn't think you would want to really be wanting to watch me make and I don't know if there's actually sand in the world or not. Uh, if you know, feel free to tell me. Uh, one bit of charcoal, get that cooked up to glass because we need that for this glass sand. So I need some sticks, uh, some slabs. Uh, so I need three of those guys. Uh, I think we can make wood slabs with these. I hope so. Uh, we can, good. That's that. Um, can we actually make normal wood? We can. Good. That's fine. Okay. Uh, so uh, we can put that there and there. That there. Them there. Good. Get some sticks. Uh, still waiting on the glass. Uh, and we do that yep yeah. all right cool let me just grab a little bit of flint uh actually i didn't need to because i'm always carrying flint around with me these days to actually repair my tools so i'm just going to get another crafting bench 
up and running. Always good to have more than one sometimes. Thank you. And then we can do that. And go straight into that one. And boom, one seed analyzer. Cool, so we get the crafting book. Uh, so, like I said, we can't do that one yet because we need this stuff. Uh, yeah, we can get wood ash from charred dead wood. That's. Uh, you would call a mixture of bone meal and mandrake that could transform plants into other plants. Plus, this could be applied to grass. You've managed to cultivate with bone meal. I haven't actually got any grass. Um, pose, I better go and get some normal grass, haven't I? Uh, let's do this. Uh, yeah, if we can do this here, can't we? Because I didn't really want to make grass until I got like a silk touch pick. But, because uh, I think what we do to do that, is it even down here? Ooh, okay, let's zoom back up. So this is the only problem we having two separate areas, having to run back and forth. So we, I think we need these past the seeds. Could be wrong here. Uh, I know there's plenty of other uses for it, but I think this makes grass. Yep, there we go. And hopefully that should start spreading. Wow, that's actually spreading very quickly. Alright. So. Uh, let's use some bone meal. Whoa. Ah, so we've got a yeah. Okay, this actually makes sense. Bachelor button. All right. Oh, got his bone meal back. Oh, I don't know if you saw that. Oh, I guess I'm hitting grass. Um. So I get some sort of green dye, I guess. Let's have a look. Can I use this? Lime green dye. Uh, poppies. It's clay. Can I use that in that recipe, though? Uh, M-U-T. Mutt. Green dye. Doesn't say lime dye. Right, okay. Just wanted to double check. Right. Normal seeds. Oh, well, we've got a particle effect. Red Rover. This seed there, which I won't say no to. Uh, but is it going to be a absolute pain to actually get what we are after? Uh, I don't. It's got to be the right way of doing it, isn't it? Will we eventually get? Already full up with junk. Um, right, well, I don't need the seeds. I can tell you that now. Or, well, maybe I might need the poppy. For some, oh, no, I'll get rid of them. At least these can be used. I think it does actually tell you what can and can't be used when it goes over it like that, which is kind of useful, I guess. Right, okay. Tiny cactus. Can 
we use you for anything. Four. I need four of them. Right. There's a way it's going to be to automate this in the future, but. Uh, that says it's a dandelion, but I'm wondering if it's the same sort of dandelion that I could have actually used. Well, that would have saved me a bit of time, but I'm not bothered. I'm not bothered one little bit. I'm more bothered about trying to get on with this. Hmm. This ain't working, is it? Really? Let's just throw. Some of this in here. I gather some of these plants don't really have that much of a use anyway. What was that? Light grey. Snapdragon makes orange. Hmm. Anyway, let's just throw. No, yeah. Flop it. Uh, let's just put you in there. Anything else can go in there? Yeah, you can. Okay, there was another quest line that we could actually do as well. Uh, I'll have to figure this one out. Because uh, that is annoying. Because I, I don't see how we can make uh, extra bees, malaculture, bonitor, minecraft. Mm. Nope. Any help, please? Put three, feel free to put down in below. Uh, what the world in base is here. This is another questing line which we can get started on. Uh, so we need these things called super crafting frames. Uh, let me just put this thing down. It's out of my inventory spot. Uh, here it can go on here, I think. Let's put you all in there. Oh, well, at least we got a little bit of clay and whatnot. Oh yes, and you can go in there as well. I'll be doing a lot of this off camera. Oh, yep. Yeah. Cool, that's fine. Right, uh, let's see if we can't make this super crafting frame. Super crafting frame, okay. Oh, easy. Right, fine, let's just... Get this quickly done. What was it one of them? Uh, around a crafting bench. Some sticks. Alright. And we get four of them. Very nice. I don't know what they're actually for. And. Really? Is that it? Okay, so we're back onto this. Uh, okay, tell you what, uh, I think I'm going to end this episode here. Uh, then I'll be able to figure out what it is, because I always seem to do that. Figure out what it is after the crafting, after I've done the episode. But obviously, if you don't, feel free to put it in the comment section and help me out. Uh, so thank you very much for joining me. I do hope that you enjoyed today's episode. Uh, but uh, thank you once again, and I will catch you later.